Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys, thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel today will be super helpful video to any of you having a Hyundai Sonata, could be any year, any generation Hyundai Sonata you guys have uh, bubbles in the cooling system guys, okay guys, you have bubbles in the cooling system you have pressure in the radiator hose, tell us we'll explain top things that can cause that and one simple thing that may not cost you any money at all, how you can fix it but if you don't do it uh, on time you may say bye bye to your engine and you may need a new engine or the old engine rebuilt all that will be covered in this video today before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get at the garage, we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos. Why we do that? Simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need, guys, in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video. That way, we can keep making these absolutely free videos for you. Now, if you need to buy any parts, tools for a good price and quick shipping, check out the link in the description of the video below. That's where we get all our tools and supplies from. So. Uh, now, let's explain what can cause bubbles in the cooling system. We are demonstrating on the 2.4 GDI engine. So, we're going to start on that now. Okay, the engine is completely taken apart. Out of this Hyundai Sonata, as you can see, this is the coolant reservoir. Okay, right there, that's the coolant reservoir you can see. So, let's say you see bubbles bubbling in the reservoir. You have pressure, okay pressure in the radiator hose and you're wondering what actually causes that guys okay maybe even coolant is coming out now one thing let's say you guys replace thermostat or you had to replace radiator radiator hose drain the coolant flush the cooling system any replacement that involved draining the coolant what can happen at that point guys okay people will just add coolant and they'll start driving the car this is number one mistake what you need to do you need to make sure you bleed the cooling system if you don't bleed the cooling system on these modern cars you can severely overheat the engine because you may get air trapped inside the engine block the cylinder head as well and that can cause air pocket that will uh, cause coolant not to flow freely between the radiator and the engine and that can overheat the engine which can actually cause some bubbles okay from having air in the system or bubbles from a blown head gasket at that point this is the head gasket it's actually guys between okay that head gasket is between uh, the uh, engine block and the cylinder head the purpose of the gasket is to make sure that it keeps compression in the cylinder it keeps coolant in the cooling cooling chamber and it keeps cool uh, engine oil in the uh, oil passage only and all these three things do not mix if you have a blown gasket from the cylinder okay towards the coolant and that will be the most common one what will happen okay actually we'll start pumping hot air from the combustion and that air will start bubbling in the cooling uh, cooling reservoir uh, create pressure in the radiator hoses and you will be overheating your car now if you uh, replace anything always make sure you bleed the cooling system but two common things okay not having enough coolant uh, actually not bleeding the cooling system and number three blown head gasket next it could be cracked cylinder head or cracked engine block those things have the same symptoms as having a blown head gasket those are some of the most common ones hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you next time